Hello. Okay. I know I just did a live stream and I was kind of showing you what I was doing with this book cover. But um, I was sharing my table with my child and so I couldn't really show you what I was doing. And so, um, but um, I loved having him on my live stream with me. I think it's wonderful. And so, but here, this is, this is what so far is my, my book cover because my prompt reminder was doily. And so I have a doily on this book cover, which, um, this book is going to be denim and lace. This, um, journal. And this here is going to be the cover. So what I'm going to do first off right here now is I'm going to um, I want to put this on this cover now. There's going to be more added to this. There's going to be more um, more added to the cover. But I'm using a shipping box that I got a Happy Mail from in. And that's what I'm using as the cover. I mean, as the, the base of the, 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 um, the journal that I'm making. And so I wanted to get, I wanted to... I really kind of think I wanted to do a little bit more on the um, on the cover before I put it on here, but it's kind of getting a little hard for me to do that because I can't see where it begins and ends. So that's why I want to do it like this way now. I want to I I'm putting the carpet tape. The carpet tape is going to hold this on here. So what I'll do is I'll turn this over and then I'm going to take the liner off of the carpet tape. The carpet tape is very strong. This stuff is some very strong double-sided tape. And I guess if it'll hold a carpet to the floor, it'll hold stuff. Okay, so now I've got that on there and I'm going to center this. Well, it started sticking before I was ready for it to stick, but it's okay. And what I'm going to do is now I want to Yeah, I think I'm going to like this a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these corners a little bit diagonally. Get some of the bulk off of the corner before I Or I get it taped to the back. Just pull some of that bulk off. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the carpet tape on the inside. Of the, of the book cover. Now, like if you were to use like a cereal box or something, this would do the same. But I'm using this this box because it's such a heavy, heavy box, a well-made um, corrugated cardboard box that I wanted to use this so I have a, a heavy book cover because this book... I want to put some thought into this one. I make a lot of junk journals. I've made a lot of junk journals that are really no thought much at all. Let me pull this off. 
this corner first. And um, this one I'm going to have a little bit more thought put into it. Because I want it to be denim and lace. But the lace I want to use is like a Clooney lace. And um, a Clooney lace is a cotton lace, which is a lot like like the the um like a like a like the oh, doilies it's not a real fine frilly lace okay let me pull this off the top off of this mm. okay Thank you all who watched the, the live stream and made my son feel so welcome. I'm glad of that because he's thinking about starting his own channel with his pencil and ink art. And I'm kind of trying to encourage him to really do it. And I think he needs it. He needs it. He's, yeah, he just needs it without going into too much about his history. Yeah, he needs that. So now I'm going to put this here. Because this tape is um, going to really hold that nice and tight. The fabric. The fabric really nice and tight onto the onto the cardboard to make a very nice cover. Okay, let me turn that up. Okay, now I'll go and do the sides. This, this denim is kind of a stretchy denim, so I can kind of stretch it. The most denim that I have from jeans and stuff is the stretch denim. It's hard to find a pair of blue jeans that isn't the stretch denim anymore. Now it's a lot of it used. Is you, all of the blue jeans are made with, most of them are made with stretch denim. I don't know, maybe Levi's or some Wranglers, maybe. Maybe they don't use, but see how that just stuck to that tape just beautifully. Okay, and then I know, I know when I was putting it together, it really looked kind of funky, you know, but now it's going to almost, I know it's going to look better now. Now, I did not, um, here you can see like there, it's, it's, I didn't cut this real, real good. And, which is, it's just fine. It's just fine that I didn't cut it real good. It's okay and wonderful. There's no big hairy deal about that. I'm going to take scraps of paper and I'm going to cover up that tape. The extra tape because I'm going to be working on it without the inside covered so I'm just going to cover that up just so it's not sticky and I'm not a expert on any of this stuff no professionalism here so I'm only doing this because it is because I am I guess that's what I'm doing okay now Cover up the rest of that tape. Mm. Sticky notes. And I can turn this over and see what I have on the other side. 
now because all of this then will get covered up with whatever I do the lining with because when I do the lining of the book I will um, have it's going to be fabric covered also not denim I'll use something different than denim when I do that I just want to cover this sticky okay now ta -da. let's see what this is going to look like that's the front and there's the back so now and then the spine so in as per my name scrapping Lizzie I just love the scraps I love raw edges um, I love raw edges I love scraps I love slow stitching so the stitching as you can see the stitching is nothing fancy that I stitched this doily to the denim and then I have I love this already but now see these pieces that I have like this and they're jagged they're um, worn they are going to make tabs on pages throughout the book and so the pay the tabs on the pages then will actually show on the edges when the the, sha the tabs and so i'll have some of the tabs will be the denims which i have plenty of the purple and these corners that I pulled off and the blue so I've got plenty of denim to work the um, to put the tabs in and I love this raw edge and and it's amazing how the uh, people nowadays I was gonna say children but kids and I mean adults everybody's wearing these raggedy jeans that's got holes in them and I think the holes are beautiful and especially if you patch them from the inside and you still see all of the rough cut edges but that's all I wanted to do for right now is just to cover up this to actually put this on and I have I have plans to oh I have this these are this is a trim of of um of oh, a trim of doilies and it i want to put some of this on here but i didn't want to put it on until i had this covered because um because i wanted to know where it was going to be after it was at affixed to the cover and so I think what I want to have here I want to have there's going to be something here and probably I think what will be here is some yo-yos the Suffolk puffs I think I'm going to have right in here some of this is going to go in here somewhere and like I like that right there and that would go like on the back border the back and then a little bit on the spine and see that's what I yeah just that far and I think that's the one that it'll be there now I'm going to sew this, but I'm going to be sewing it by hand, and I'm going to sew right through the cardboard. And so, but then my stitches, um, my stitches 
will on the inside the stitcher will show of course here but the st stitches on the inside will be covered up when I um, put the inside lining inside the book and then when I make the when I add the pages I just got a string there not bothering me bad okay there when now see because the spine now it's about two and a half inches and so once I get the lining in here because I'll make the lining to where I'll cover I'll cover um maybe I'll cover like a a um I'll probably get two pieces of chipboard the size of the covers and and then on the spine I'll I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover I'm going to have the two pieces of chipboard here here and here not here but only covered with one piece of fabric where there won't be there will only be fabric here on this piece on the spine part and then but i'll put a piece of carpet tape down here to hold the fabric carpet tape will hold the whole thing but the carpet tape here will hold the fabric to this spine because then i will cut a piece of of a chipboard the size are almost a little less than the size of of this spine and I'll put that that's what's going to go here after I use af so I'll put the whole lining then I will attach the signatures to this piece of chipboard here that'll also be painted or covered with paper or something it the signatures will attach to that piece of of chipboard and then it will stick to this inside with with um with the tape but then what I think I will do is I think I will put a grommet on either end because I, I got some really big grommets and I think they would look really good right here on the top and the bottom. And that will help hold that inside piece that will hold the signatures. It'll hold that in. If I put a grommet here, metal, then I might want to do a metal corner as well. And so I'll want to do that, which I can make a metal corner out of metal tape. And then I can even color it to match the color of the grommet back here. And so but there's going to be more something added. Not a whole lot, but there's going to be more something put on top of this doily. I love how that doily is made. It looks more like it's tatted. I don't think it's crocheted. I think this whole doily is tatted. I did not make that. But like a crocheted doily, this is definitely crocheted. And you can see the stitches. You can look at it and say that's double crochets and I think it's all double crochets. But um, on this, I believe this whole thing has been tatted. And so somebody has spent some time to make this doily. And so I'm happy to have that and put it in here in this shabbily look thing. But I just love that. And, and I'm going to make little videos along because I do plan for this to be a little bit more than what I usually make and I think I want to share the process of it as I go through it so that's all I wanted to show you on this one I just wanted to be kind of to pull together the 
the live stream that I just did, and I'm going to work on this a little. Well, maybe I won't work on it till tomorrow, but um, but I think it's going to be just. I could glue these down. I don't know. I've got fabric glue, and maybe I'll glue them down. I don't know, and then maybe sew on a button in each corner on each center. I might do that. I may do that is to glue because that's going to be a lot of pushing and tugging the needle through all that cardboard. So maybe I will use the fabric Fabri-Tac glue because it fabric fusion is what I have and I might use that to glue this down and then put a flat button in the center of each. I think that would be pretty. And then, if I put some buttons on the front also, oh, I could put a button right in the center of this one as well. That would be pretty. That'd be pretty. So, but I love the colorful stitches. This is one thing I love is the colored lace. The variegated lace, uh, not lace, the threads. And that is what I use. And I buy my thread in the cones and use that variegated thread. And I know that the fancy th stitches take up more thread, but it's okay. You know, I don't drink beer, so hey, I don't drink beer, so I can buy thread. But that's just what I wanted to show you. So now I'm gonna find another mention from our ancestors, spirit. See what else they have to say. I know I just read one on the live stream, but I'm gonna read another one now. So let's see what they, these are so pretty. The whole postcard is so pretty. I don't know what Billy did to my computer, but I'm, I'm seeing my whole self on there right now. I mean, the whole screen is, and he's gonna put a tele, I got a TV that we never, ever, ever use in the other room. He said he's gonna put that in there and hook it to this computer so that I have the large screen thing I don't know, it was really, he was explaining it to me and it was going right over the top of my head. Okay. Here I are. Okay. See the mess? That's the mess. Well, when I see myself on the whole screen, that really makes my mess look like a big fat mess. Hmm. Okay, dear you. Do you ever feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value? Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done. Be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it. I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part of everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. That is good. And I I bet we all have been through this. I bet we have. Um, and that's what... We can't fix everything. You know, I have got six adult children. Billy, who was with me, um, today he's 37 years old. That's my baby. And my oldest child, he was in the chat. He's 53 years old. He's my eldest one. And I got a whole bunch of them in between them two ages. And, um, and, and it's when they get in a pickle of any kind, I want to fix it. I want to fix it, but they're all adults. They're all adults, and, and they can fix their own problems if they want them fixed. I'm just retired. 
I'm still their mama, but I'm retired from uh, babysitting my own children. And so, and no, they don't give me trouble, you know, they just don't give me trouble. I don't have, I mean, they sure ain't perfect, but they don't give me trouble. And, um, and, um, and so I accept that and I, and, and they just need to, you know, and, and not just my children, anybody, you know, I think I want to fix every, I want to fix world peace. I can't do it all by myself, but I can make it begin with me. But I can't fix it. I can't fix it. I feel bad for, you know, all the children's in the hospitals and stuff. And I wish I could fix them, but I can't fix them. I can pray about it, but I can't fix them. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing, too, while I have you here. I just seen this right here and it made me want to... I want... I... These are... I did a couple videos. Did I this... I, I started this on a live stream look at how beautiful and i washed it i washed it and dried it and look at that it's all of that you know fabric manipulation you can just do so much with fabric and to make an art piece out of it so i could go further with this i could take this and go further with this i could make a wall hanging out of it i could make a book cover out of it i could do so many different things with it just and even if I don't ever do anything with it, but just have it, it's nice, it's beautiful. And then this is the one that I did with the um, I did this the cutting of it, this diagonals on these two corners, and on these two corners, I worked in squares, I worked in squares, and I cut and manipulated the fabrics in these squares. And, and then I washed it, and I dried it, and look how beautiful they come out. That whole square is just beautiful. Now, even, you know, even if I were to just make a whole bunch of squares or pieces, different sizes and different colors, whatever, and different patterns, and then just put them all together, then um, I could... Could you imagine a whole blanket made, a quilt made with just these kind of things, just put all together? I think it would be gorgeous, gorgeous. What I would probably do, though, is I'd probably get a, um, a, a backing. Like, what I've done, like, three or four quilts I've done now using, um, using mattress pads. And I just stitch things to mattress pads. I could slow stitch each one of these things to a mattress pad when I get a whole bunch of them. Which actually I do have some more of these that I've done in different patterns and different um, fabric manipulations. And um, I could even cut this one in half and have two pieces. But um, I just I love doing it. I love doing it, and then I love the finished the finished piece that it makes. I think it's beautiful. So anyhow, this is what I wanted to show you that I, I could, I wanted to put this back, get it together part the way so you can see my beginning. And I'll keep you all posted along the way as I work on this here, um, on this here um, journal. There's going to be a lot of denim fabric in it, a lot of this kind of Clooney lace and there's going to be, and I think I want a lot of music. And so I think a lot of the pages, I'm going to use the pages that I started making with the, with the um, player piano roll paper. I'm going to be, a lot of the pages are going to be that. And I want to make a lot of the pages to be music sheets, like sheet music. I want for a lot of the pages. And then I'm going, I want to look through like magazines and such and find anything that I might find that has to do with music. I might see an advertisement with a piano in it or a guitar or, oh, I've got the Beatles cards too. Oh, yeah. I got some Beatles stuff, um, musicians, um, lyrics to songs. 
and some of my favorite oh i bet that would be cool is that i could have lyrics to songs and so i need to put something new i have fabric i have i'm not sure that i have a lot i only have a little lecture but i have a couple of pieces of fabric that <coughs> are like music notes <coughs> and i think i do want to I'll find it. <coughs> Excuse me. I will find it. But it's like finding a certain piece of fabric, knowing that this one is small that I have. Um, um, it um, It's like finding a needle in a haystack in my house. Because I got scrap fabrics. Like, I got one bag. I got two bags over here that are, you know, them great big bags that you can get them, them um, space bags? like hefty space bags that you can put stuff in and then suck the air out of them. I got two of them big ones, and they're full of scraps. I mean, scraps. Little scraps, which to me is like gold. I need to put them in Fort Knox so they can be taken care of and guarded by armed guards. Okay, well, I'll quit talking now. God bless you all, and remember my card that was pulled. Billy pulled the card, and it's resin. So tomorrow I'm going to do something with resin. And so I think that'll be awesome because I haven't done any resin, nothing for a while. So I want to play with resin. And so if I had a mold with a music note, but I don't. I don't even think they make them. Okay, God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make. Bring you back to the next video, safe and sound and happy and healthy and humble. And, um safe oh i said safe and sound okay well all that good stuff i want only good stuff to come to you all and be happy don't worry be happy and god bless and god bless and where's my there's my lunch right there okay all right i'm gonna be working on this and i'm gonna be loving y'all